Hey, I'm Jesse. Behind the camera is Will, and together we are Top Jaw. We are in LA for Top Jaw's first trip to the USA. Let's go, Will. For our time here in LA, we are staying in Petit Hermitage. This place is absolutely full of character. Come on then, Will. Time's ticking. Let's go. Even though it's 3 a.m. our time, we're going to get the food. First meal we've decided to have is at John and Vinny's. This place does great Italian American cooking and makes locals go back again and again and again. Top drawer, top tip. Serve your table or else you're going to be waiting around the corner at Sweet Chip for two hours. There's only one of these John and Vinny's in LA. This is the ricotta and honey toast. And that bread is like big, but beautifully bouncy, soft, crisp on the outside. This is the mushroom pizza. I'm excited. Oh my God. Fully loaded, like two different types of cheese. And then here we've got our meatballs. Look at that. Mm. This is the spicy food silly, which we are told is the absolute love line of this place. It's got vodka in it as well. That's beautiful. Okay, now I went into that a little bit negative because there's like a two hour wait, however, the food lived up to the hype. Good night, bro. Good night, bro. We are D-U-N. So we're in Petit Hermitage. This area is like the secluded fire deck. Big fire pit there. And these little buttons push for service. This is the rooftop pool, fourth floor. Doesn't give it this, does it? I don't think I've ever had a better start to the morning. Watch that sunrise. Had a little morning swim on the rooftop pool. Now we're going to go to breakfast at Republic. This is quite a historic looking building and it was originally Charlie Chaplin's offices. How cool is that? Republic came really recommended to us and I know why. French food at its absolute finest. We have ordered damn well. This is breakfast done the right way. This is mushroom toast with cured ham, scrambled eggs. So this place is really all day dining. Run by husband and wife, Madge and Walter. Mate. Does it bang, mate? That is just buttery, creamy, salty. Oh, yeah. This is kimchi fried rice, beef short rib, sesame, poached egg. Oh, my God. That was incredible. Look at that. A bit of a kick to it, this. It looks like a tomahawk steak. <laughs> oh, mate, Will, that is so soft and crispy outside. We've over-ordered top door style, isn't it? Right, on to the next place. How many brunches do we have? Two, three? We're still in West Hollywood. We're on Third Street at Jones on Third, run by Joan and her two daughters. <laughs> you come here and get the very famous beef short rib sandwich, or you can come here for your grocery shopping. We've ordered Arnold Palmer's, which is like half black iced tea, half lemonade. We really indulge you on this trip, aren't we, Will? We've reined in our ordering a little bit this time. Oh, man. Toast burnt from the outside. Nice and savory, the Gloria cheese. The beef is so juicy, oh my god. That is one hell of a sandwich. Jones on third, that is definitely worth going to. You could have ordered a lot more there and really hung out, but we've got a car to pick up. We're at a little parking lot in a pretty mundane part of town for something very, very exciting. We're in LA, we need a car. We can't keep getting Ubers everywhere. This is not an ad, but we found this app called Churo, which is kind of like the Airbnb, but for people's cars. Let me introduce to you, for the next two days, our new whip. We are now in East Hollywood. Part of this area is called Thai Town, so you get some really authentic American Asian cuisine. That is why we're here. This is kind of what they're famous for. This is why we're here. This is their roast pork. It's called Buchan. A firm favorite of the actor Darren Chris, as you will see from the walls in here. Because <laughs> that belly of pork rolled up, and there's this liver sauce. What do you think, Jess? I like that sauce. It brings out so much of the flavor. Nice yeah. and salty. Skin is super nice and crispy. This is ube. This is yama ice cream. I don't know what those two things mean. I mean, it's delicious. Mate, save some for me. Wow. Whoa! Spent longer there than we thought we were going to. We were just completely disarmed by how friendly and hospitable they were, weren't we, Will? And they gave us all those desserts and everything. But we haven't quite had our ice cream fix yet, have we, yes? No, because around the corner from here, in East Hollywood, is the best ice cream in LA. And the sun is out, there's not a cloud in the sky. Horny for ice cream, Will? Hell yeah! Can I join you? If you ask the guys inside McConnell's what makes it so special, they'll tell you it's 70 years of keeping it real. 
test. It's 1949, never used artificial flavors, colorings, preservatives, stabilizers, always just been about the ingredients, full flavor ice cream. Some of these flavors are nuts. Okay, some of them are nuts. Smell in here is sublime because they're making their waffle cones on site. Does he want to ask me what I want? What do you want? <laughs> Thank you very much, dude. Look at that. Three heavenly scoops on their own freshly made waffle cone. We have milk, white, chocolate. Then here we have sea salt, cookies and cream, topped with whiskey and peak and pray line. Well, we're moving to LA, mate. Okay, we've driven down to Venice Beach and we kind of want to get onto that beach and soak up that sun. However, first things first, <laughs> We need to sort Will's barn out. So we've come to world's famous Venice Beach Barbershop. That's what it's called, I'm not making that up. What time is it? What time is it? Yes, yeah, mullet time. Woo! Yeah, man, it looks a lot tidier. Thank you very much, dude. Take it easy. Venice Beach, we've now done with Will's haircut. It's getting near sunset. Look at the coast skating, man! This is kind of like the main beachfront area. And then the other main street is called Abbott Kinney. And you've got lots of like cool shops there, bars, restaurants. Will, are you feeling hungry? Do you know what we haven't yet had? And you know what I love? In and out burger. I think it might be time. Let's pick the car up. Let's go. It's burger time. It's burger time! Where are we? Doing the in and out drive through We ordered like three double burgers, animal style, animal fries. These aren't menu items, these are off menu items. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course. Wow, amazing. Is it a banger? Oh, a banger. man. Outrageous. That is so good. It's like a cross between McDonald's and Five Guys. I love the chew on that. Dude, I get it. I get the hype. I mean, it's not obviously the most gourmet burger you're ever going to have, but... Pizza Macca's any day. Oh, mate. It's, yeah, it's actually similar price here to McDonald's, but so much better. But look at that entrance. That's date spot written all over it, isn't it? Come on, Will. It's about time we got romantic. Check this out. Hidden gem or what? We are at Bakari. This place is an Italian Middle Eastern fusion. Beautiful al fresco dining. First thing to kick us off. A vegan pate made with walnuts. Mate, that is D-E-L-I-C-ious. That's right, Deli delicious. <laughs> this is a lamb kebab. Not one, not two, but three different tahinis. We have a kale tahini, a beetroot tahini, and a turmeric tahini. Will, you're gonna love that one. Boy, oh boy, are we full. I mean, you can't get better than that, eating under those trees, under candlelight. Great little day spot. Will and I fit right in nicely. Bedtime, bro. Ended. Oh, Will. A bit more awake now. Get ourselves some grub. Really want the proper American breakfast. I think I found just the place. Get the show on the road, Will. Jump in. We're just south of West Hollywood. Come for breakfast at Meha Bar. Vinny and Mindy opened this place in 2017 when they were just engaged. Lots of American style food, all with like a little Thai twist. This is the fried chicken waffle. This is extremely popular. It's got like a Tom Yum Thai seasoning to it. Everything has like that, that beautiful maple American breakfast smell. This is the Kai Jiao Thai omelette. It's from the Bella Jasmine rice, but there is maple sausage in there, onion, egg. Doing the breakfast dance, Will. Mate, skim me, hooking me up with the merch. Tap Charles in the house today, guys. Dude, thanks for hanging out, appreciate it. Thank you, Billy. Donut time. We're gonna go to Trejo's Coffee and Donuts at Danny Trejo. Who's that? We'll show a picture of him here. Recognize him? Yeah. What do you do when you're a successful Hollywood actor and you love donuts? You open a coffee and donut store right in the center of Hollywood. We've gone for Cafe Con Leche donut. This is a pina fritter, this is Danny's favorite. And then this is a cinnamon glazed donut with Chantilly cream and strawberries inside. Ooh, so juicy, sir. Hold it, hold it now, hold it down. Is breakfast this morning been <laughs> waffles and then donuts? When in LA, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna have some of this Cafe Con Leche one. Oh, they are light, squishy. This is Danny's favourite. There are actually chunks of pineapple in that one, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like all mixed together, made into like a fritter. Boy, that's good. Final one to try. They're raspberry and almond milk glaze. That's just like a brilliant jam donut. It looked proper airy inside. Mate, real floaty like. Trejo donuts, 
only one of these in the world, and it's this little pink box right here in central Hollywood. Wash it down with a nice American coffee. We've come a short way, we're still in central Hollywood, but we're here for Mozza Pizzeria. It's been here for 12 years, which is a long time. Owned and run by Nancy Silverman. She's a perfectionist, and that's why they're kicking out the best piece in LA. Thank you very much, sir. Incredible, thank you. We got meatballs, tomato sauce, fresh tomatoes, buffalo mozzarella, fresh oregano, parmesan. That's it. This looks beautiful when it's getting made. Squash blossoms, fresh burrata on it, olive oil. The vegetarian option. That burrata cheese, oh my lord. Life's just better with a dollop of burrata on the top, isn't it? Yeah, that pizza base is so crisp underneath. It's quite a light chew. That meatball is like so herby, melts in your mouth. A little bit of kick from the chili. You're gonna love that one, Will. I mean, all the pizzas are around sort of $20 per pizza. Will said that's one of the best pizzas he ever had. And we've eaten a lot of pizzas, haven't we? Dude? Oh, God. That was Pizzeria Mozza, but I wanna show you the two other mozza restaurants on this block that are equally incredible. Osteria Mozza, this is their Italian fine dining, white tablecloth kind of restaurant. They do an incredibly good value five course tasting menu for $59. And beside that is Cheese Spacca. For all those meat lovers out there, this is their Italian steakhouse. We are at the Griffith Observatory. It's a really short drive. It feels like we're miles away from LA, but it only took us about 50 minutes to get here. Or you can hike up and then look at these unrivaled views. To the telescope, Will. Wow, breathtaking views. What can you see, bro? Not a lot, Will, because I've pretty cool, isn't it? Beneath us, there are three floors full of exhibits. Although we don't really have time for that, because we're doing our foyer hour crawl. I think you're a bit thirsty, are you, Will? Hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're back in West Hollywood now, and we're at AOC. We've heard a lot about this place, and it's won more awards than Will has cameras. French food, incredible bar menu. Come on, Will's going. We are just here for drinks, but apparently the food is outstanding. So the bar chef, Christian Relic, buys all the produce from local farmers markets, makes up all the ingredients for this cocktail. That is real nice. Cheers. Cheers, mate. This is kind of pre-gaming, a little pit stop before going back to the hotel, and then on to downtown LA, where we've got a host of bars we want to visit, as well as the Grand Central Market. The sun is set and we have come to downtown LA and we're gonna eat at Grand Central Market. This market opened in 1917 and has been in continuous operation ever since. Today, it is a food and retail emporium and it's where we're gonna have dinner, Will. We haven't had any Mexican food yet, have we? I think it's time for Mexican. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, look at this. That's one mega full burrito right there. Will, those tacos will feed the family, mate. We have gone pretty mental, but I'm glad that we actually finally got some Mexican food. Okay, that stand might not be the best Mexican food we can get in LA, but boy, it seemed authentic, right? Will got tacos, he got chicken, beef, pork, and... Mystery meat. Mystery meat. But how, where do you even start with this? That is bang for your butt, bro, that is... Mate, that's banging. This place is the last bookstore, secondhand books and records. Very edgy, probably too cool for us, Will. Not too cool for me. Drink? Yeah, drink time. We're in proper downtown LA now. This is a New Orleans inspired bar called Little Easy. Ready for a cocktail, Will? Yeah, bro. Well, I was reached for a whiskey based cocktail. His favourite It's making me an old fashioned. Woo! We're going to go around that corner to a bar called The Wolves, which is proper old school vibe. So this place is vintage as hell. It really feels like you're slap bang in the 1920s. They made most of their liquors, their bitters, their vermouths in-house. I've gone for a smoking coffee. It sounds amazing. Cheers, mate. Cheers, guys. Cheers, mate. See you on the next bar. See you on the other side. Right, Will, you're going to love the next place because it is tequila-based. Las Perlas for mezcal cocktails. A uh, little top jaw tip, always bring your ID out with you, no matter how old you are. And does Will have his ID tonight? No. Does he still manage to get in? Yes. <laughs> I did have a Mexican meal in here. It was very nice. This place is extremely Mexican. We got Mexican live music, Mexican decor, very Mexican cocktails. Okay, after a bar crawl of four bars, we retreated back to the rooftop of Petito Mataj where we're staying. We're gonna sign off tonight. We're gonna try and catch that sunrise. I am absolutely naked. 
It is now about half past 5 a.m. Got up, showered, shot out of bed. And now we are driving to the Hollywood sign to beat that little sun. What an amazing 48 hours. You haven't even scratched the surface. 48 years, that might be all right. What we've done is just our little take on it. There's something for everyone. You can do everything a lot healthier than we've done. You can do everything a lot cheaper than we've done. But it's how we've chosen to spend our 48 hours and it's been sublime. Where should we go next? Tell us in the comments. We are literally listening to everything you're saying. We build so much of our guide on your recommendations. Subscribe to Top Jaw, you lovely people. Thank you for watching.